Well, hello once again, Space Engineers. Uh, here today to show you a fun little project and uh, was looking on one of the forums, on Discord actually, and uh, on the Izzy forum. He does lots of different scripts and interestingly enough, he makes a lot of scripts that I think I'm, <laughs> I would like to make and then I go and look at his stuff and oh, guess what? It's already there. So that's great. You ought to really uh, subscribe to those. But um, there was some question or something came up that he mentioned that he uses a rotor to put programming blocks on and on a large grid. And I thought, man, that's just the greatest idea. And let me go check that. And there was some people saying, yeah, I've tried that and it wasn't working for me and on and on and on. So I went in and I tried it and I built a little conglomeration mess of stuff over here and just wanted to share that with you and uh, let you see what kind of things that, that all those scripts did. As you can see, it's a little standalone station. Doesn't, uh, doesn't connect out to anything else, so no magic. And I'm running all these different programs, and where's all the programming blocks? Well, as you can see, they're all down here on this top of this rotor. I put them in kind of like a Christmas tree, because one of them, uh, or a couple of them there, do light right controlling. So I'm going to... Um, to take you on a little tour of what we're doing. Let's first start off with the, uh, uh, well, light color changer. There you go, watch the show. Well, you can see that the show is here and there's a couple of little uh, timers that kick on. And well, actually, I think there's eight of them here that kick all those different lights into different colors. The uh, the colors don't, I mean, the rotating doesn't change. The, the script is just a light color changer. And so I put in like different timer blocks. It runs like five or 10 seconds and changes the color. And then another one will kick in and it'll run five or 10 seconds and then it'll change the color again. So you see that, that the colors all are changing and that's all done through the timer blocks and uh, running that particular program. So let's see here, Sp suspension toggle. That says watch the wheel. So if you watch the wheel and you see those timer blocks on each side of that kick in, and you see that that wheel moves back and forth. So that one works great. Uh, even running a timer, I mean, a, a, I'll get it right, a programming block that's a small programming block, but on a large grid system. So I just think that's the greatest thing. It's, uh, it saves a lot, a lot of space, and I'm a big fan of saving space. So let's take a look at this next one that's coming around here. Uh, this one's a little bit hard to see, this light control. Watch those red lights. You see them flashing there? And that's done through that that little block. So let's, um, or that little timer there, and the programming block. And it just turns the lights on and off. And so they flash, and it's a real simple script. Just turns the lights on and off, doesn't do a whole lot. So it, wor it works. Um, then uh, if you can hear that through there, the sound sound randomizer, that's given different sounds, so that one works real well. Um, let's see here, what's the next one? We've got the suspension, we've already seen that. So I guess we've seen all of them on that row, so let's go down to the next row. Whoa, went a little far. And you know I'm not a good pilot, here we go. Um, the cargo bars, yeah, look at the LCDs down there. Those are really cool. You can see that there's stuff in there, and there's I've got cargo containers all around, so the the inventory manager moves stuff. But I've got one set here to special, and it uh, it's got so much in it. So that's the cargo bars. Uh, the solar alignment, yeah, it does not detect non-rotor solar panels. That's the only thing I don't like about that script. It works great, um, but it doesn't detect within its own block here, or within its own station, it doesn't detect the non-rotored ones. So I kind of give that a, it's a great script for all the stuff up there, and it does really give more power uh, because it aligns everything properly. So it is a really good script. I, I'm, you know, in the 80-90% on that because I really do like it, but it doesn't detect. I've got this extra solar panel over here, and... Uh, I've got uh, another one, a couple of them underneath there, and it just doesn't detect those. And that's the only thing I don't like about that script. But, I mean, it doesn't say that it does that, so uh, I guess we have to be happy with 
the, the fact that it does align them. That's the thing. But it doesn't give show the power of them. So let's get back down here and find another one. All these are running. There's like a dozen scripts that he's got that are uh, that he talks about there. The inventory manager, and yes, it does sort the stuff. Um, I've got the the main over here. Well, that just is flying really fast. I've got the main, and then I put the um, the other one here. This I just never did anything with it. But you can see the LCD runs, so you know it's okay. And then it says there's no problems found. So that's all real good. Uh, let's see what else have we got. We looked at inventory manager, docked ships. There's a good one. Docked ships. See the LCD. I like this script. I only started running it today. Found it today, and I really do like it. Uh, you can see over here. I've got my little ship called Adam over here. It's the only thing we've got docked, um, and that's why I like the small. Uh, you know, this putting this stuff and making small space. Because this is the smallest ship I believe you could possibly have. It it transports two people, and it runs on just uh, the size of a single uh, large-scale block. And I just think that's the greatest thing. I've, I made that, and it just runs so good. Even bad flyer me can do good with it. But anyway, we're here to talk about these scripts. And here's um, the currently docked ship. It shows that connector is there. It shows the name of the thing is Adam Shuttle. It's got good health. It's got good batteries, and it's got no cargo. I, I don't understand what the point two is. I guess that's the uh, seats, because that'll hold a little cargo. But otherwise, there's no cargo in here. It's just to transport people. You know, the atmosphere transport, something mobility, operations mobility, or something. I don't remember. Adam, little tiny thing. Anyway. Um, Let's see what else we've got here. Light color changer, light control, ship refueler. Well, we can't run that on this station, and uh, it requires two batteries, so Adam can't run it to test it. But I'm sure it works. Um, I just haven't haven't tested that. The solar alignment we did, the block renaming. Uh, well, we renamed door to Izzy Door, and uh, that worked real well. So that uh, that works. Nothing I could really show there other than it just is there. Docked ship, suspension, inventory manager. We're almost done here. Um, we've only got the one about the doors, I think. And that's a pretty cool thing. Um, oh, the altitude trigger. There's that, and then there's the uh, the cargo bars. We did that. And then this one is the, uh, the simple doors. Okay, so we've only got the altitude trigger, which is over here. And that one is showing that it's there. I mean, we're not triggering anything because we're not moving. It's on a stagnant ship. But I kind of like that it's out there. You know, in these in these stations, I don't know why they have this movement. I mean, the thing is planted very firmly in the ground. Why is it moving? Um, you know, it's got lots of blocks on the ground. So I don't understand why it's showing movement, but that's... That's keen. That's not Izzy's programs. We we know that. Enemy detected. Okay, so enemy detected, but it's not really true. Um, all right, and the other one is the simple doors. So the way I did that, interestingly enough, I popped these Objective four doors down here. Complete. There's only one timer that's running this, and it's only um, opening that one door. But Izzy's script goes through, and it says, the, open the door next to you. If you if you're open and then close the one so it's like an airlock and so as I tested it I went from left to right I opened that one first and then this one opened and then I opened that one and the next one opened when I opened this they all started opening so I thought well that's really cool let's just leave it that way so all I'm really doing is running a script to open this one on the right about every 10 seconds and then because it opens uh, this one opens and that one closes and then that one opens and that one closes and that one opens. So it's pretty cool, but it, it works real good um, for this. And I'm, I think I'm going to start using that on my ship instead of the airlock stuff that I've been trying to do. It's just not working. Um, I've got an automatic closed doors thing that um, is okay. 
but it's um, I have to set that. I have to go in and set every door. You know, close this one after two seconds, then go to the next door. No, close this one after two seconds. Well, this script just does it. So um, it, it detects that it was close to an air lo- or close to another door. Presumes it's an airlock. So as you open one, it closes the other, which I think is just pretty cool. So we're going to uh, probably start using that one. Well, I just wanted to um, to show you all this stuff working together in one little tiny station. And then, um, you know, if you if you have this mod, you can always come here and, like, this is the, the King Izzy chair, I guess. This is uh, for him to sit in and, and kind of just watch his, uh, his creations going through here. I thought it was pretty cool um, to make this little station and all the stuff working and the the uh, solar alignment and well just all those things that we talked about and they're all working on one thing and so you really use this tip it's a great tip and I, I highly encourage you to use it now you don't have to make a little tree you don't have to put the lights on it you don't have to do anything like that but do use the rotor uh, all you have to do is remove the head you detach and then go and take it take it away put a small head on there and then build a small block like a little stick of some kind and you could put, I mean, however many programming blocks you need for your ship, 10, 20, 50. I mean, make a little tree like this. You can put a whole bunch of them around. Uh, that's for sure. And you could put all those timer blocks in there, too. We don't use timer blocks so much anymore, but used to have to use a lot of timer blocks. And now you don't have to, but sometimes you do. And if you do, that's great. You can stick them all in here and have them all into the size of one or two large grid blocks, which I think is just wonderful. And that's just probably one of the hottest tips that I've uh, had. And I don't know why I didn't think about it. You know, just never have really thought about it. But it it really works great. And um, as you can see, even as it's turning around, it all still works. So uh, super, super good idea. I highly encourage you to utilize that in your Space Engineers games. Okay, well, we look forward to seeing you again next time on the next video. Be sure to subscribe, uh, click that like button, and and uh, you know make sure that you you get notified too. We'll have some more videos coming up real soon. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you next time.